So, if you thought the Kathy Back was the craziest story in the oatmeal Vietnam saga, you ain't seen nothing yet. Have you ever heard the story of Anna Barbie? That's what I wanted to talk about really quickly in this video. I just wanted to give you some highlights from my perspective, and I really hope this video does not get removed. You know, I get really scared. I'm being dramatic a little bit, but it's actually real tough. Oatmeal. It's terrible. It's devastating. It breaks my soul sometimes. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. But seriously, like, I'm kind of joking when I talk. I look like I'm joking because I am joking. But at the same time, I'm kind of like hinting at some stuff. And I do that on purpose, kind of. And I think it's kind of funny because it's like, is Oatmeal joking? Is he serious? I don't know. I don't know. And the, and the answer to that is yes. That's the answer. Yes. So, basically, to summarize my adventure in Vietnam from 2012 to 2017. So one of the, one of the um, one of the biggest chapters. During my time there, tasting English, uh, probably the biggest chapter would probably be the the Anna Barbie adventures. A lot of things happened. Um, I knew her um, early on, probably as early as 2013. That's when I came to Ho Chi Minh City. I started off in the north of Vietnam, came to Vietnam. Uh, near the end of uh, 2012, it was around Thanksgiving in November, and I was in the north of Vietnam, and then early in 2013, I came to Ho Chi Minh City, and I uh, ran into ran into Anna Barbie, uh, probably on the internet first, uh, somewhere, I forget exactly where. Uh, might have been on tag.com and she was like some kind of musician wannabe musician uh, and uh, I met her and we made some videos and I think what she would say to me early on would be things like I'm trying to learn English and I'm also trying to learn how to get better as a musician to get better with playing guitar and piano and you know, things like that. And I came over and I would talk about some of those things a little bit. I would have come over a few times, probably as early as like 2013. And then on and off over the years, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. Basically, we had a, a few different adventures. I remember one time we went to Dalat City, and that's like it's a, it's it's pretty far off. It takes a while to get there, like like ten hours or something. Um, it, I think it's uh it's north of of Ho Chi Minh City. I mean Saigon. I'm gonna call it Saigon. Okay, so um, we 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 went we went to that city. At least one time, one or two times. I don't remember how many times, but um, went there for the um, for the New Year's celebration, Tet, and uh, it was good. And uh, I'm not here to really tell you everything. I'm kind of like going into it, like I'm I'm like trying to tell you the 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 the, the backstory. And I think it, it would be amazing now. I feel a little bit um, scared because my videos get taken down. And it's so easy for people to just like get videos removed. You know? There's a lot of people that get their channels banned. It's so easy. So it's like this video could be removed. My whole entire channel could be terminated just like the other channels. Uh, one, two, three, four. How many channels got terminated? Of mine. A lot. So many. So many. I'm so sad. I'm so devastating. And how many videos have I lost 
over 7,000 videos. God damn it, Susie Oatmeal. Susie Oatmeal, no, that's not her name. Susie YouTube, how dare you take my video, steal my video. You're almost as bad as Facebook stealing eight years of my life. Eight years of my life. So, it's devastating. So, I wanted to tell you really quickly the backstory of how I met Anna Bobby. I'm just going to call her Anna Bobby for short. Her nickname. Just like I call Kathy Bike, Kathy Bike. Because it's it's memorable. It's an easy um, brain trick to try to remember something. And um, instead of trying to call them by their Vietnamese name. Oh, by the way, I have a Vietnamese name. Um, so what was it? Um, the first word was something like, um, English teacher. I think, I think like, um, uh, Yalvian teacher, like Yalvian. And then, um, and then the next part of the name was, uh, wing. Uh, way, uh, way, oh, heel, heel, no wing way. Uh, I, I forget how to say it exactly. But two words that I, that I found in a, in a dictionary, and um the first word was like new second word was like um wisdom and i was like i'm gonna put those two words together some vitamins were like no you can't do that that's that's not what it means if you put those two words together and i'm like i'm like i don't care but um it's like um i just wanted to give you a highlight i didn't want to um Make a really, really long video right now. I don't want to make a really long. Don't want to make a long video. Just want to say really quickly that some of the crazy things that 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 would happen in the Anna Barbie saga would be things like I would say Anna stole over a thousand dollars from me. Anna would be like oatmeal snuck into my house broke into my house and stole a, a very valuable ring and then i would i would say something like i know stole my legos i know stole my bike no i didn't say and i stole my bike that's kathy anna uh stole my arnold attic dvds home videos now i believe actually i eventually got all the dvds back i don't know about the legos maybe not the legos but the dvds um and everything all that stuff i think i got it back or some of it um i don't remember exactly but but then there was like like over a thousand dollars the thing about that would be basically what happened was like i had money okay so i had money I couldn't extend my my visa that last time, the end of 2015, and uh, didn't know what to do. And then Anna and her family, especially her mom, her mom was like, "Like I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to help you." And Anna's like, "Yeah, my mom's gonna try to help you." And so I decided to let them try to help me. Because I was saying to them the whole time, I was saying like, you can't help me because this problem is too hard, but go ahead and try. And so so basically I was like trying to prove them wrong by letting them fuck up. And so basically it's like, that's that's what I was trying to do. Which, which is okay in a way. But probably a waste of time and probably not good for me. Because it's like I need to take care of myself instead of like, oh, trying to teach them a lesson kind of thing. Like, I'm going to educate them. I'm going to show them I'm right and you're wrong. I'm going to show you by letting you fall off a cliff. I'm going to say you can't do it and I'm going to let I'm gonna let you try. Even though messing up means, you know, you're probably going to destroy my life. And And to add to that. Not only did I just wait for them to fail, try to wait, wait. I mean, I was hoping they would maybe magically 
somehow find a way to fix my problem. Maybe they almost found a solution at the end. But it's like the problem is in the mix of all of that, I ended up giving them all of my money, which was, was over $1,000. It was around that, that amount. And the reason for it was mostly was um, there were some, some conversations going on between me and Anna, her sister, her older sister, ZZ. So um, I think her, her, her sister's name, Anna's sister's name, uh, ZZ, I think, I think that, I mean, the, the Vietnamese name, I think that means snow. And uh, so they were like, they're like, you're not generous and you're not, you know, you, you're, you're you're so selfish and you're not gonna give and and then and then and then I started thinking a little bit about like what happened with me and Kathy. Okay, so Kathy wanted all my money, so uh, I said no, and she said goodbye, and uh, that was the end. And um, I mean, I mean, it wasn't something that I wanted, but I was in that. Let's call it. Let's call it a relationship because it was, even though I didn't want it. But it was, even though I, I would say at the time it wasn't because, in a way, it, it wasn't. From my perspective, I don't want it, and so I decided I'm gonna end it, and I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna give Kathy my money, and so so then I went my separate way. That was in April 2013, and here I was. In um, the early part of um, 2016, I think it was in April, and uh, basically, it was the same thing. Like the same month, April 2013, I I tell Kathy, I'm not giving you my money. But then three years later, I'm like, I'm like, Anna, I'm gonna give you my money. Uh. But then we had a falling out, and I get kicked out eventually around April of uh, 2016. So, uh, let me say really quickly, this is supposed to be a really, 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 really quick video. I just wanted to talk from the top of my head. And uh, I hope this video does not get removed for anything. There could be any reason, like, you know, some people can be like, Oh my god! Oatmeal talked about me! Take down this video! That's what Mango did. And that's what, that's what Cosmos did too. I'm not gonna talk about what I'm talking about, but, you know, those are two examples. But I'm sure there's other examples too. There are other examples, but, you know, it's like, this is what happens. Like, for me, it's, it's happened. And for other people, it's happened. It's terrible. And we shouldn't get used to it. But it is what it is. And um, I'm I'm devastated about that. Because it's like, I, I want to talk about it. But it's then, like, I can't talk about it. Because you know, I, I can't talk about anything. Because it's like, if I talk about something, the video is going to get taken down by YouTube. Or I could try to upload it to another website. But it's like. It's like. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? So. um, Anyway. So it's like. um, I wanted to bring this up. To make a point. Like that. That if you thought that. Kathy Bike. Was memeable. Like. Oh. The legendary meme star Roy Merrick made some really, really cool memes. And so has Easy Blazer of the Memes World Productions, which has brought in you so many stars like Little Sniff, Michael Buddy Mullins. That's right. Bunch of cool people. Bunch of other people too. Bunch of big stars. Yeah, Big Ben. Bunch of other people too. That's right. Whatever happened? Whatever happened to Quandell Dingle? 
bunch of other people too of the memes world productions one of the memes masters is roy merrick he made a um like a magazine cover of star wars darth vader he was holding kathy pike from the vietnam oatmeal saga that's my my story that's my story and i and it's really interesting and it, it, it shows you and it proves that Kathy Pike is very memeable. And so so I probably should have opened up this this uh video with, you know, if you if you were to try to make a documentary about oatmeal, Joey Arnold, you would really want to interview Kathy. And if you can do that, that's great. If you've done it, if you do it, if if you will do it, if you've done it, if you do it, if you're doing it, that's great. That's good. That's ooh, good, good, good. However, the only thing better would be Anna or Lego Man Mark. Lego Man Mark. Lego Man Mark, yes. There's a lot of other people, but it's like, it's like, you can only talk to so many people. The hard part is like, finding a way to get them to um to talk and they might talk a little bit some people might say a little bit some people might say a little bit more and so it's like it's like you wonder how do you get people to talk i don't know it's an art and it's something that i would be tempted to do to try to do like try to contact people try to get them to be in my video right now um i'm not doing that right now i'm doing a other things I'm doing other things right now but um, down the road I could I could do it I don't want to do it right now uh, I just don't want to do it uh, right now I don't want to do some of those things There's a lot of things I can do but I'm not gonna do it um, I can probably go back and forth between different things I'm being very fake very generic in what I'm talking about I'm doing that on purpose but I don't want to take take up all your time except to say that um Kathy is memeable. Oatmeal is memeable. Anna Bobby is memeable. And uh sometimes I don't talk about things because I don't want my videos to take on down. I don't want I don't want it. Uh but I felt like what the heck I'm gonna do it anyway, so I'm gonna do it right now. What the heck? I'm just gonna say a couple different things and put it out there for the record and let you know. Now all of this is like a big dream or let me say it's a big mess in the sense of uh, it's all over the place and a lot of things can get lost in the shuffle that's right like when i'm rambling and ranting it's like it's kind of fun for me it's kind of like therapy but at the same time what's the point maybe if i had a lot of subtitles and stuff and a lot of charts and pie charts and all these kinds of things like maybe i can show you some stuff on my screen and maybe edit some stuff into it and then uh, that can be very effective. Some people would do that. I remember watching videos by Stefan Muller, new of freedomainradio.com. Like, he would do that. Other people would do it. A lot of people would do it, of course. Of course. That's the one that comes to my mind because his his videos are good. Well, he's still around on other websites. And it's hard because you get you get kicked off. He got kicked off YouTube, and he was really big. A lot of people get kicked off, and it's like, what are you gonna do? I felt like I was kicked off uh, Vietnam. Not really, or I don't know. It's possible. Maybe I was actually like put on a put on some kind of blacklist or something. I don't know. And maybe I was um, banned. From from Anna and Kathy and a lot of different people. I can uh, somewhat joke around about some of these people and some of these things. And exaggerate about boat chips. About a lot of things. I like to make up words like William Shakespeare. God damn it. That's right. That's right. Eon. 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 Eon television. Positively entertaining. No. Ian. Ian Oatbox. From the Discord server. That's right. Join our Discord server. If you want to talk to us or talk to them. 
Click on the link below this video for more information if you want to join my Discord server, our Discord server, the Memes World Productions. You can talk to us and we can talk about this and other things and you can ask questions or tell us what you think about this or anything about me, oatmeal, or about the Memes World Productions or about other stuff, other topics, your concerns or feedback or questions are always, 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 always welcomed. And we try to respond as often as we can. Within reason, of course, within reason. So click on the link right now before you miss your opportunity to be a part of something that's very historic. So uh, please save this video, download this video, God damn it! Download this video before it's taken down by the YouTube gods. That's right, Susan Boyle. I mean, Boyle, wait, she's a fat, but no, it was, did, did she lose weight like Usher? Not Usher, the other girl. No, Usher's not a girl. God damn it. Oatmeal Random, that's my name. So it's like, um, who's the YouTube god again? Susie? Not Susan, but Susie. So it's like, uh, I'll try to maybe like upload this video to another website and then uh you'll never know because it's like you'll come like usually like a lot of people don't know when uh videos are removed when uh youtube channels are removed like i mean you might know if like if if you're following a person and then you go back and you're like where's that person sometimes you might forget but a lot of people they don't really they don't really go back to um to a video like you watch a video and then you move on and you watch another video and you forget and you never you never really think about it and so if a video is taken down you're not really gonna know unless if it's like something you want to look at again a music video or something it could be anything but really it's like it's very hard and so a lot of people just don't think about censorship and getting banned and all this kind of stuff and it's like it's important to know about it and to write it down also at the same time it's also important to write down about your life, and that's why I talk about my life. That's why I'm making this video about my about my life. And you're like, oh my god, 22 minutes about you rambling about a thing, a thing about a Anna Barbie, and how Anna Barbie is memeable because 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 you said, oh, sir, talk a thousand dollars, and oh no, you talk a ring, and oh, you talk my Legos, and uh, you took my Arnold Dodic DVDs, and and that's it. It's like. I can literally say that in like 30 seconds, all that, maybe 10 seconds, I can make a 10 second video and I can say all that inside. And so you're probably thinking to yourself, why are you talking for 22 goddamn minutes when you could have just done all this in 10 seconds and, and this video would have been over by now. Here I am sitting and, and talking about this and here you are. If you're watching this, I don't know. What can I tell you? Except to say, I really, 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 really don't wanna, I wanted to say all this. And I don't mean to repeat myself about some things, but I do sometimes repeat myself. But at the same time, when I'm repeating myself, I might say some other stuff intermixed with all the old stuff. That's kind of how it works, unfortunately. I'm not saying that you should do it on purpose all the time and everything. And sometimes it's just fun to uh, hear the same thing. It's like hearing a song. So it's like, just imagine that I'm a song that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friend. People started singing it not knowing when it would end. Because this goes on and on, my friend. Let me stop. Play along. Oatmeal, play along. Where kids can... No, kids cannot. That would be totally terrible. Because, because... Reasons, okay? God damn it. Anyways, um... I didn't want to take up all your time, alright, folks? Just wanted to tell you that Anna and Bobby is really cool... And um, we had a, a lot of a lot of conversations over the years, and um, I think I was wrong in a lot of ways in how I treated people. I, I can defend myself in in some ways, you know, like I could talk about what I was doing or what I was trying to do. I talk about this. I made some. Videos about this made some videos that's bad talked about this stuff so many times so many times But I don't think I've really explained it really really well 
And sometimes you got to say some stuff again and again and again. And again, sometimes there's some things that are important to say again and again and again. And this is something that's very important to say. Like for me, there's a lot of things that, that, that I want people to know for the record. And then I want to like kind of like point at it. Like I want I want like some kind of documentary. I want some kind of like big video. I want some kind of website. I want some, some kind of great article with links and some key videos and memes and pictures and some things, some content, some gifts, some some stuff that could say some of the most important things that. I would want to say that could correct the record as to to say in a in a in a very 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 quick summary only ten hour you know like only a one hundred hours of videos oatmeal trying to explain some very important things from his perspective. It's only one hundred hours long, only a thousand hours long. You know, isn't that kind of crazy for somebody like me to say, you're thinking to yourself. And from your perspective, you might be like, yeah, that's totally insane for this guy born in 1985 in Oregon to say. Like, why would he say that? Like, why would he say something like, oh, I only got a thousand hours to summarize my life. I mean, not to talk about all the details, but to like give you some highlights and to say the most important things about um some things to clarify what did you mean by this what did you mean by i killed black web what what is what and and tiffany combo and and uh this person that person this thing that thing what does that mean what kathy stole my bike what what does that mean what does that mean when you say this oatmeal Oatmeal, when you say this, what does that mean? Oatmeal, when you say that, what does it mean? And so I want to be able to have that and have links like a banner at the top of my website. Top of all my websites. <laughs> all my website. All my uh, decentralized websites. That's right, websites and social media and Mia Omnia. And uh, on top of my manga. <laughs> Seriously, stop joking around. God damn it. On top of my floppy, floppy disk, flopper disk, flopper disk. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 I want to be able to do that and and that's very 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 important and and in the mix of of some of the stuff that I, that that I would say for the new people out there was you know it's like you always get new people that come to you and so, so 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 you always have to have like like a disclaimer one big example is Viva Fry on YouTube he does some videos about law and justice and uh politics culture but mostly you know it's law related because he's a lawyer from canada from quebec he does stuff because he's a he's an attorney he's been in courtrooms and trials with with judges you know with, with those things you know and um he talks about all that stuff with with people like robert bonds and uh, a bunch of other people mostly robert bonds who is a very good and famous lawyer. And it's like, I like law, and I like thinking about that stuff, and I want to listen to people like him, and Nick, Rakita, other people, too. And it's like, it's good. It's really, really good. And at the beginning of his videos on YouTube, you know, Viva Fry, he would say stuff like, here are my disclaimers. There are no uh, legal advice, no health advice, no this kind of advice, no another kind of advice. 
this advice, that advice, this thing, that thing. Total super mega disclaimer. It's kind of like saying, spoiler, when you're talking about a movie, you're doing a review, a spoiler, a reaction video. And you do that. And a lot of people do it. And it becomes redundant in a lot of ways, but it's like people do it. And for me, I may not say stuff like, spoiler alert. I do it sometimes, but, you know, it's like, I don't do that. It's like, I may not say, spoiler alert. I may not say, oh, there's no legal advice. I may not do stuff that, that, uh, Viva Fry does, or other people. I may not really, 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 like, do those things. Sometimes I might do it. Sometimes. Not all the time. Like sometimes. Like I may I may do some of those things. And I kind of want to do those things. But it's like sometimes I don't really want to do those things. But it's like. It's important to me. Those things. Those things are, 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 are pretty important. Like because I want to. I want to clarify. I want to be smooth. I want people to be on the same page when we're talking, when we're discussing, when we're debating, when we're living life. And you gotta live life and love life and love love and live love. Those are the four things you gotta do in life. And it's like very cool and very devastating if you're not going in the right direction in life. And it's very hard. But it's like, I really want people to know what I'm thinking and where I'm coming from to opt into my life. I'm not taking the time to explain myself. And sometimes I feel like. I would feel like. You already know. Or other times I would feel like. Uh, I don't care if you know or not. <laughs> or maybe you'll find out later on. And so. I would be in limbo. I would be between. Those thinkings. Uh, that's you know it's like. I kind of think. A couple different things when when I'm doing stuff and I'm like, you know, like sometimes I'm just not really um, thinking a lot about it, or sometimes I am thinking about it. I mean, like as I get older, I'm thinking about it a little bit more, and then I just go crazy. Like uh, if I think about it a little bit too much, then then I don't think it's possible. So then I've um, forced myself just to like publish everything, which could be um, not a good idea in some circumstances some situations and stuff and i don't disagree with that but it really depends on who you are and everything it depends on a lot of different variables there's probably a lot of variables from a scientific perspective like what should you do like should you be a a private person a public person or a little bit of both like obviously people are a little bit of both but it's like um for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like publish a, a daily blog, and I'm just gonna let it out, and I'm gonna force myself to publish a blog each day, and I'm just gonna put stuff on the blog, and I, um, I have the um, the daily post, the daily um, diary blog, um, open all day long. It's just a notepad file. It's just a text file on my computer. And if something happens, I just copy and paste the activity. Whether it's like a message, uh, a comment, a video that I'm watching, whatever that whatever that I'm doing, I just, you know, I do it. And, you know, I'm doing it. I'm watching a video and then I copy and paste the link and I put it on my blog. I put it on the text file and it's there and I save it. And then when I'm doing something else, I copy and paste whatever the activity is and I put it on my on my text for that day. And I have it all on there ready to go for each day. So each month I have it ready to go. I create about 30 or 31 different files that represent each day of the month. And then, then I can just like put the stuff in there. Put the stuff on there as it happens. Otherwise you're not going to be able to do it. There's no way to do it any other way. Like you would have to be crazy not to do it like like that. If if you were to do it at all. But the point is like I'm just going to put it out there. 
And I guess I'm not here to fully explain that either. But anyways, um, because there, I mean, there's some some logic from my perspective why I do what I do, why I do that, why I do other things. And I would want to explain some of the stuff. I may want to say thank you to people. And so it's like, I really want to have like an introduction and I want to be able to like let people know like who I am and where I'm coming from and to kind of explain some things about me because it's like it's really easy for people to uh, misconstrue stuff like misunderstand a lot of things. It's very easy. It's so easy to fall for a lot of fake news and ever since I started following politics in 2016 I started noticing that that people will believe anything I mean not not everybody but some people will believe things even if it's not true and then I started realizing some of the stuff that I made a big deal about compared to compared to these celebrities and some of these other people like Alex and Trump and some of these other people it's like the the drama that I experienced was not really that big of a deal even though it's like it, it's a big deal in a way but like the stuff that, that that I was dealing with with Kathy stealing my bike and you know it's like with and uh, stealing a thousand dollars, even though she would say, "No, we didn't steal a thousand dollars," and we can go back and forth. But it's like, what is that compared to other issues in the world, culturally and politically, and everything else? You know, basically religiously, and you know everything your heart can desire. And I know you want some Turkish delight for all you Narnia fans out there. You want some. Take us to land. Ooh, I want, want to go inside a wardrobe. I want to go talk to a talking lion. Oh my god, the witch, the lion of the wardrobe. Ooh, the, I remember those movies when they came out. They came from um, um, England. The English version. It was like a series, like a mini series from uh, for the UK. And came out around, um, it, was, it came out in the late 1980s. And I probably started seeing it um, in the early 1990s when, when it came over to America. And um, it kind of puts things in a different perspective when you're able to see some kind of um, story like that. Narnia. Narnia is a really cool story. And stories are great. And that's why I like to tell my own story. And that's why I'm talking about a story right now. I'm just kind of introducing some highlights of some stories that are based on true events and stuff. And and, and whether or not I want to like add fake stuff to it, I don't know. You know, like there could be a fake version and a real version, you know, like there's the real version that's kind of boring. Like this is the stuff that actually happened. And then, there, then there's like the, the memes that can be built on top of that foundation. So it's like one of the things that I care about doing with like my videos and my, my, my articles and my blog and my photos and everything is building that foundation of these are the facts. These are the dates. These are the people. These are the things like this is what happened without trying to add too much of the subjective bias the um the relative um crazy stuff that that you add that people add you know kind of thing and it's like i do that i do that you know i try not to but it's like you have to kind of look at things from that perspective of of your own bias you gotta admit to it from deep inside your heart you have to be like Okay, I'm oatmeal, I'm flawed, I'm not perfect, but I'm going to try to, like, come at it from, uh, first of all, from my perspective, from my bias, from my opinions. But then you try to discover some kind of objectivity, some kind of um, baseline that can connect you with other people and, and, and try to call that objectivity and, and university like how do I say like you gotta th when I say university uh, that's the wrong word but it's like I'm just trying to say universal principles and objective truth and reality and and uh, principles I have to say principles again because it's so important but it's like 
It's it's all this you know scientific stuff and and reason and logic and common sense and all those things, and it's very important to to get there. But you but you you cannot really get there automatically, and you'd be a fool to say otherwise. But it's like you really want to get there, and I really want to get there. But it's like I see the value in the story, and that's why I created the Arnold Attic in twenty ten as an analogy. Some kind of story, some kind of illustration of my life in my home videos, especially my home videos, and and so I added a little bit of a of a story for the Arnold Attic, and it's not a real story; it's fictional, but it's there as a cover for for the real stuff for my life. And you know, it's like there's a story in my life, and I could talk about you know being born in 1985, being born in Oregon, being born in. A ghetto, being homeschooled, and these are all things that happen to me. Without without adding any、uh, fictional elements to it, it's pretty dry. It could be interesting and exciting for some people, and、uh, depending on how you tell the story and everything, and that goes for all the different stories, whether it's、uh, stories from my childhood or high school, college. Um, Hawaii, all the different places where I lived, and then Vietnam. You know, and all the different, you know, all the people, all the different people, all the different places, all the different things, and that would include Kathy with the bike, Anna, and the Legos, and then there was a Lego man do, like, you know, and and he has my bike. But he's holding on to it on one of my bikes. I had four bikes in Vietnam, and、uh, I say all this because I think that that I want to continue to tell my story, and I, I've been telling my story off and on for a long time, no doubt about that. And some other people have told stories about me too, including Deadwing Dark and. Memes World Productions and especially the Memes World Productions have been doing a really good documentary, the best documentary ever on oatmeal. On oatmeal, that's me on oatmeal. That's right, and,、uh, and that's good. And some people found me because of Dead Wing Dark, and my intro is played on Chrissy Mayer's. Simpcast on Sunday, every Sunday, and that's good too. And I'm thankful for that. I think that's good. But I want more, and that's good. It's good. It's good. It's good to want more. And I want to continue to tell my story, which I've been telling my story a little bit. I think that I want to continue to do that. And there's other stuff that I do too. I do other stuff. I'm not here to talk about that right now. If you don't already know what else I do, I want to tell you about it. But then again, I probably don't really want to tell you that.、Um, I try to be like political and、I'll, and other stuff too. Like I want to talk about the news and I want to, you know, do those things where I'm like, you know, I'm I'm.、Um, Making reaction videos for you know what's happening in the world and and movies and shows and you know I just want to like I want to like tell people what I think about everything anything and everything like history and and health and science and and culture and and politics and and everything so I'm like you know I'm thinking about those things and you know I'm writing articles and I'm making videos about. That about everything about all those things. That stuff is important, and perhaps I should move into that direction where I do that full time. But then again, I cannot say whether or not it will work. And you don't know. I mean, you can't really, 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 really know. An individual can't really know unless if it's already working, then you can say it's working. But in the future, it may not necessarily work. And it's good that people are able to do it. And I cannot say that 
that I can get like a million people to follow me and then I can be really big and everything and uh, and I shouldn't really have that mentality and uh, and there's there's a part of me that has it and there's a part of me that doesn't have it and so I'm, all, I'm always like fixed like my soul my spirit is kind of fixed between those two extremes those those extreme views or perspectives of like where should I be in life what what should I be doing I'm not really here to to really really talk about all that kind of stuff like where I'm going kind of thing and the, those kinds of things that I want to do those kinds of things that I believe in but I, I did want to say that that I, I wanted to focus a lot of my time or most of my time on trying to trying to build a foundation of um, like this is the first 20 or 30 years of my life kind of thing like not so much like what's what's happening now it's more like about the first 10 years or the, or the or 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 the first 20 years something like that you know like the older stuff is a little more important than the newer stuff like the first 10 years of my life is a little more important than the next 10 years or the next 10 years or the next 10 years kind of thing because it's like a lot of things happens in the development of of an individual whether it's me or other people if I try to understand myself then I can perhaps understand other people a little bit better a little better but I got to start with myself and it's a little bit of a of a bias when you do that but it's like you have to because that's that's all you got and that's the the the, the frame of reference that you got until you can figure out how to apply it to other people and 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 be relatable and and have some uh, uh, sympathy excuse me sympathy and empathy and realization all those things all that jazz it's very important to uh, to get there so that you can pass it on pay it forward like your life and whatever that you got could be applicable for other people it could be valuable for other people educational entertaining um, encouraging um, it could tell you what to do what not to do where to go where not to go who to talk to who not to talk to all these great life lessons and i believe fundamentally all those things that's why i do what i do i try to do what i do even if i fail and i do fail and i say sorry and stuff sometimes and maybe not enough and i did bad stuff and sometimes i don't talk about it because i want to focus on the bad stuff that other people do and i feel like if i talk about my bad stuff then that will distract you from the bad stuff the other people them kind of thing and so sometimes i would i would really 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 focus on that and not that i don't still do it it's just that i try not to do it as often as much as extremely as i used to and so i'm trying to like change i'm trying to improve i'm trying to do some things a little bit different and some things maybe not some things will probably stay the same and some things maybe not so much and and i'm like adapting and and evolving now i probably made some videos about some of these things before and so some of this is repetitious but i think this video is a little bit better than some of the videos I've done before where I, I kind of said some of these things before I've said some of these things before in some articles in some videos I've said some of these things I think some of these things are new some of these things that I've been saying in this video uh, especially the first like 10 minutes um, just trying to compare Anna with Kathy I've never made a video about that before so this is the first video and this video is supposed to be like 10 minutes long or shorter 10 seconds okay 10 seconds is all I need but then I decided to talk about everything basically introduction to oatmeal without really introducing oatmeal I don't think 
I did a really good job. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really here to do that. I re- I did really didn't want to do it, but I got carried away, like I do. I like to rant, and then express myself. Try to express myself and try to put it out there like the most important things. I want to put out the most important things, and then I ask myself, okay, did I did I do a good enough job? And as an artist, I say no, heck no, because as a perfectionist, nothing's good enough, and that's why I do the daily blog. I really want to do the daily blog as to force myself to release it out. Otherwise, I'll just George Lucasify the Star Wars of my mind till I die. Just like, I'm just going to come back and do a special edition of every video, every article, every meme, every picture, everything, every comment, every post, everything you can imagine. Come back and do it again. Come back and try to edit it a little bit more. And nothing's good enough. And there's a part of me that's very competitive, like Michael Jordan of the NBA. I want to slam dunk on you. Anything you can do, I can do better. That's what the Game of Thrones House of Dragon is saying to the Lord of the Rings. Ring of Power. Two prequel shows going at each other. And at the moment, the... The, uh... The, uh, what's it called? Game of Thrones prequel show is Michael Jordan. It's doing better. It might not be actually Michael Jordan. It's an analogy, okay? And in this analogy, Michael Jordan, Game of Thrones, House of Dragons, is doing better than Mia Hamm. That was a very famous commercial. It was a Gatorade commercial, you know, Gatorade. Gatorade sucks. Water is better. That's what the water boy, Adam Sandler, said. Or maybe somebody else said it to him and he's like, how dare you? And then he would tackle people because he was playing football. He wanted to be the best. And he was fueled by anger. He was like energized by the anger and the hate and stuff. Ooh, feel your anger, says Darth uh, Plagueis. Not Plagueis, no. Uh, Palpatine of Star Wars. I would say Terry Silver of the Karate Kid would be like, yes, 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 punch that little dummy a little harder. Yes, punch, punch a little harder. And now your your knuckles are bleeding. Yes, feed him to the anger. What a boy. The Emperor. They would come together and form some kind of unholy alliance. That's right. And Michael Jordan was beating... Mia Hamm until they started playing soccer. The song is really cool. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can.